Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I want to talk to you about some products that I don't like or like disappointing products. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna title it yet, but you know, cause you clicked on it. So I have a few things here in front of me that I don't like for different reasons and I wanna tell you why and then you can decide if you still want to spend your money on them. Um, a lot of these products I have had for a while and I have been trying for a while, so I just know that they just didn't work out for me. Now, if I mention something that you really like, um, that's okay. I mean, we're all different. We all have different skin types. Our skin reacts differently to different, you know, products and stuff, so don't take it personally. Um, just let it roll. So I'm just going to share with you these things that I don't like and I'll tell you why I don't like them and if you, and if you still want to try it, then so be it. Okay. Well, the first thing that I want to talk about is the Cody Airspun. Um, this is a powder. It's a translucent powder and the one that I have is translucent extra coverage. Um, now, okay, this stuff was so hyped up. Like, People on YouTube were talking about how much they love it and how great it was and how fabulous it was. And that's the reason why it's disappointing to me because I was expecting it to be like incredible. It's a fine powder. It does the job in setting your makeup, but I don't think it makes my skin look that great. But the biggest thing about it is the smell. The smell is so strong. Like it stinks. It smells like, like grandma perfume. And the smell really like lingers. Um, I put this on my face. I still use it even though I don't love it. It's not my favorite powder, but I bought it, so I'm going to keep using it. Um, so I put it on in the morning, and then by the afternoon, like, if the wind blows the right way, I can still smell the powder on my face. I heard that you can get the powder unscented, but if you order it online, and I'm, I'm just, I'm not going to do that. So let me know what you guys think of Cody Airspun. Maybe I'm just not, like, using it properly. I've used it on a bride. I've used it on a couple of brides on their wedding day, and it really does look, it looks good on their skin, and it looks beautiful in photography. There wasn't any flashback. Um, so, I mean, it, it has its good, it has its goods, and it's bad but like I said before the reason why it was disappointing to me was because I was really expecting it to be like incredible and it's just okay I do want to encourage you that if you haven't tried this and you see it in the store I think it's somewhere between like eight and twelve dollars I would recommend trying it you get a ton of product for what you pay for it it just if you see the unscented one definitely go for that one so the next thing that I want to talk about is a foundation this is by L'Oreal and it is the infallible total cover foundation this I've had for a while and I've tried a lot of times. I've tried wearing this a lot of different ways um, and it just, it just does not work. The thing is, it's so full coverage. It's so like thick and goopy and clay-like that the way that it wears on your skin is not great. It settles into all of your lines. It settles into any wrinkle, every pore, and you just look like you've aged 50 years by the end of the day. Here's some of the foundation here and you can see it's just so super thick. You see how thick it is? Which is, you know, it, that could be okay, but it just does not wear well. So if I were you, I would avoid this. I find that the other L'Oreal Infallible foundations wear much better. Um, I'm a huge fan of the matte and the dewy one. I like to mix the two together. Um, and then I also get really good full coverage when I do that, but I would avoid this one. The next product I have in front of me is the Sally Henson No Chip Top Coat. And this is what it looks like in the bottle. <laughs> I can't get a grip on it. This is what it looks like in the bottle, and I don't have to say much about this. The, the point is, it chips immediately. I put this on, like, the night before, and by the next morning, like, I'm in the shower, it's chipped. Like, everything, it not only does it, like, chip, like, tiny chips, it chips huge chunks of nail polish off. So this is incredibly disappointing because it's literally called no chip. This is annoying, and I wouldn't buy it. There are better top coats by Sally Henson, but no chip is not one of them. The next product that I've been dying to show in a video like this is by Lorac, and it is the Beauties Who Brunch Pro Eyeshadow Palette. I purchased this last spring at an Ulta. They launched um, around springtime, like around Easter, and when I saw it in the store, I was like, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I just love all the names of all of the colors. It's just so cute, and it's just so springy. I just thought I needed it so that I could welcome in spring wearing a beautiful pastel eye. The thing is, it just, they, the colors don't show up. They're so pastel that the looks that you have to make are very light and, you know, pastel in color. They don't wear well. I found, I find the buildup to be not very good. They're soft shadows and 
Uh, they kind of swatch okay. Let me do a few swatches for you so you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. It's just working with pastels on your eyes is difficult. Even when I prime my eyelids with a concealer and then set it with powder, I still just cannot make this work. So here are some of the swatches from the different colors in the palette. And you can see that they look like they look like the shades in the palette. They just are so hard to see. You know what I mean? They just don't wear that well. This highlight shade is really pretty, but they just, I don't know, they just don't show up. They just don't show up. And I feel like this palette was like between $40 and $50. Right now they don't have it at Ulta, but I'm thinking perhaps when spring comes around again, they're going to have it out again at Ulta. Maybe. They do have it on the, the Lorax website. I think it came with an eyeshadow primer and maybe a brush. I can't remember, but I would just avoid this. Lorac has better palettes, um, and this just isn't one of them. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about is by e.l.f., and this is the Lock On Face Primer. I talked about this in an e.l.f. haul video that I did. This stuff is so thick. It's so thick. Here it is coming out. Did you hear that? It's so stinking thick. It's so thick that it's difficult to work with. And here it is on the back of my hand going over the swatches that I just took. But the biggest thing about it is not necessarily that it's thick and not necessarily that it's too sticky. But when you're trying to spread it on your face, like I like to take my primers and use it to fill in my pores. Um, but this is just so thick and difficult to spread that I'm literally like pulling my face down trying to spread it around. So I feel like I'm doing more harm than good. And even like wiping it off on the back of my hand, it reminds me a lot of Elmer's glue like school glue, any kind of glue that you're trying to spread over your face. And it just did not work well for me. I actually have seen some other people on YouTube who really like this powder, um, and they just use it in certain areas on your face. So if this is a, I said powder, but I meant primer. If this is a primer that you really like, let me know how you use it. Maybe I'm using it wrong, but for me, this was a major pass. I have it in clear, so maybe the other ones are better. This is not very good. The last products that I want to talk to you about are by Milani, and these are their metallic lip creams. Here's what they look like in the bottle, and I have them in the shades Chromatic Addict and, what's this one, Raving Maddie. These, I wanted them to work so bad. I got these, uh, I think back at like the beginning of the summer, I it was like when all the metallic lip stuff was really coming in into style, you know, I really wanted to be with it. So I got these two and they smell so good. They smell like, like sugar cookies or something like just amazing. They, they smell really good and they just don't wear well. So I'm swatching them on the back of my hand so you can see, but this is the darker shade, obviously on the bottom. This again was called, what was this called? Like Maddie, raving Maddie. This shade is really patchy. So you had to put on like a hundred layers to make it work but it is possible to get it even on your lips but it takes a lot of work and then this shade is really pretty um but a problem with it like isn't that pretty it really is a problem with a lot of these metallic lipsticks is it really accentuates any imperfection you have on your lips even especially when you um when it's a matte paired with metallic when it's a matte metallic lip it really can accentuate any problem on your lip which is fine you can just do some heavy exfoliating before you wear it um the thing is, it, they settled into my lines on my face. My friend and I both tried them at the same time. Um, they settled into every single line on your lips and then like began to flake off. So like little pieces around the inside of your mouth like flake off into your mouth or onto your tongue and you just kind of are like, you can't stop. Out of the whole line, these are the only two that I have tried. These are the only two that I own, but I think I would go so far as to say that these are unwearable. I will never wear these again, and I think they're just probably going to go in the trash. So don't waste your money. I think they were about $10 each. I know, um, I think that Milani recently came out with some more lipsticks or lip products that I would, tr I will try, um, but these are a hard pass for me. Okay, so that's it for my disappointing products or products I don't like. Um, let me know in the comments if you like some of these products and again, like maybe I'm wearing it wrong. I would be willing to give it another shot. I spent my money on it, so I might as well try to make it work. Um, but I am just here to try to help you guys save money. If you were thinking about purchasing something, one of these things that I talked about, maybe reconsider. So thank you very much for watching this video, you guys, and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Give this video a thumbs up if you like when I share my disappointing products. Um, I do find that I come across disappointing products all the time, and instead of like returning them or before I return them, I can just make a quick video to let you guys know like, hey, warning, don't waste your money. So anyway, I will see you guys in my next video.
Bye. Why do you have this? Can you say bye? Bye. <laughs>